Here's another landing page in the Shape landing page series. And as you can see with this one, it looks similar at the start. We've got a nice striking background image used on it where someone's looking at a watch there. And then we've used the same style of headline with the bold characters on this on the last word here inside the featured box. You see it stands out really nice with that image behind it. We've got the supporting headline as well below, which is bold, overlaid on top of this image. And it just stands out really well. As the image is fixed, as you scroll up, you can see the text gets a bit easier to read above. We've also got the opacity applied on this background row here as well. So it's not the full color image coming through. As we scroll down, we've gone into the bar below it. We've got this other row, which makes this call to action stand out with the dark row and then the bright red color on top of it. Like in the second landing page, we're using that same style there. Brings up the overlay optimizer with the progress bar and the call to action here or the opt-in form. Again, you can switch that out. You might want to use this video with some content inside it, not just an opt-in form. Now, as we scroll down this page, this is slightly different with the layout. We've used another column or the two columns here with the text, capital letters in all the headlines here so they stand out nicely throughout the page. Slightly different font used inside this text element which then brings us down to these featured bullet points that we've got here with the custom little circle icons. And these two areas could be used to cover anything, any questions you have or just giving more information about you and your business whatever features or bullet points you want to highlight in this area. And it brings the eye down to this large call to action using that same color, it stands out lovely on the white background. It's got the same call to action again there, which we've used, cloned that down the page. Going further down, scroll down again, we've got that image coming through. So this is the same image used on the overall page. And then we've added in the custom HTML element and inside that we've put in this maps. We've um, embedded the Google map from Google's and then we've put on the site here on the right, sorry, we've put across some information where it could be like a fitness run or the location of your gym, whatever details you wanted to include here and then the address below that. So that stands out nicely on the gain on that background image coming through and it's still fixed as you scroll down. So we keep going, we use the capital letters inside this section here for the as seen on and then we've put in three logos. You could change that up. Maybe you could include more or less logos. You could increase the padding maybe to make them stand out even more. But the contrast between the color row above and then the color row below makes this very easy to see. These icons is easy on the eye. And it's actually, it just makes things stand out much easier to read from the user's point of view. Takes us down to the bottom here. Again, bold headline. And then we've got that call to action using that same color on the dark color behind it. If we click on it, opens up the overlay optimizer to encourage more clicks. If someone gets all the way to the bottom of your page, it's worth including another call to action there. So these long type landing pages don't have any inline opt-in forms. They have all call to action buttons for people to click on and then open up the overlay optimizer. Let's jump in the live editor and just take a look at the bullet section. Okay, so here we are inside the live editor again. You can see the transparent row effect is applied using this opacity background CSS. That's the name of the CSS class there. And that can be edited inside the page settings under other scripts. We could freely change this color, you know, with a different color from purple to black or something. The featured block, like in the other um, templates, the other landing plays or this featured box is done with the transparent featured box. And then we've added this class called white border. And you could decrease or increase that border size inside the CSS settings if you wanted. So most of the other stuff is quite easy to change if you want to play around with it. The buttons, the overlay optimizer, the featured or the bullet icons we've got here. This is the custom icon. You could edit this element and go inside and upload your own icon if you wanted to here. And then if we go further down, again, we've got in the custom HTML code element here which has inside it the embedded map. So if you went into Google Maps you could get your own embed code here and replace this with a location if you wanted to use a map inside your landing page. So there you have it, that's that page, it's all ready to go. There are three in this series, if you haven't seen the other two make sure you check out the other two landing page. There's videos here inside the clubhouse and as always we'd love to see them in action in your business.